Hi, my name's Kelly, and I just want to give a little bit info on my journey to healing. It's been it's been a long road, like a really long road, but you know, we learn things along the way, and I'm here to share, and hopefully, it can help somebody else on their um spiritual journey, healing, you know, all that good stuff. So after multiple failed relationships and two failed marriages, deep down, I felt so unworthy. I got really good at hiding my broken, shattered heart. I don't know if y'all do that, but I know I do. You know, for years after my second failed marriage, I locked my heart away. I locked it away so much that eventually I was left with absolutely nothing. I was absolutely empty. <clears throat> and it took me five years to process, you know, a 12 year marriage. And it took me a lot of healing, a lot. And, you know, I got really good at asking God, source, universe, whatever you believe in, um, to take the people out of my life that wasn't meant for it. <clears throat> you know, we always do this. <clears throat> if it's not meant for me, you know, please take it away. And I got really good at that. And he did. He took he took all the wrong ones out. He surely did. He surely did. But in November of 2022, I hit rock bottom. And I always thought rock bottom was, you know, just for addictions and stuff like that. But no, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, I went through a what seemed like a horrible anxiety and depression, like a two month battle with it because I deal with anxiety and depression. But this one felt different. I was so like I could not even leave my bed. I wouldn't want to answer the door. I was like not even want to answer my phone. Like I was only showing up just enough on social media for people to know I'm still alive, you know? But, uh, couldn't understand why this time it was so bad. Why it was bad. It, it was, it was just so bad. Um, but then I ended up coming out of depression and I started noticing things. I started noticing like the, um, you know, signs. Oh, the clock's like 11, 11. Stop. Sorry, y'all. The clock's like 11, 11. I started noticing like the times on the clock, you know, different uh, synchronicities they say God sends, you know, like feathers and um, butterflies when your loved ones passed on. So it got me into digging into what does all this mean? Like what, what is the purpose of all this? What are you trying to show me? And that's where my true spiritual journey began. So what I learned was this wasn't just another anxiety and depression bout. This was the beginning of my spiritual journey. Spiro spiritual awakening, they call it, or um, a dark night of the soul. If you heard of that, like it's like you just strip down to nothing so we can build you back up. And this is where my true healing began. So I watched so many videos, so many videos. I was like Googling everything I could think of. Like every time I seen something that I thought was a sign, I would Google the spiritual meaning. And it just progressed and progressed. And then I started with the things I was finding and collecting. I ended up, I have a room in my house that my daughter lived in for a little while, but it was just an empty room. So I just started putting stuff in there and just came together and it was like my, call it my peace bubble. <laughs> it just feels so good in there. So I would just get in there and learn to meditate. Y'all meditating really is awesome whenever you're trying to heal yourself and anxiety and depression because it, it um, calms you down. It helps you look at things more clearly without that head, um, constantly trying to beat you down you know so so i got my peace bubble together and 
didn't, I started doing what's called shadow work. If you've never done shadow work, I know it sounds scary, but it's not. It's actually just the bad parts of you, the unhealed parts of you that you have to figure out and heal to be able to move forward. Something that I never figured out in those five years because I was so busy telling God to take everything out of my life that didn't, that didn't serve me anymore. But I didn't tell him to fill me back up. And that's where I was left completely empty. And you know what? I'm so thankful I was. I'm so thankful because now I've learned. And I'm going to tell y'all what I learned and how it's affected me. And hopefully it can help y'all. So I'm going to tell y'all that right now. So began the shadow work. You know, that's the, the hurtful parts. That's the parts we don't want to look at. But... It's the parts I carried with me all my life. And I didn't, I knew it affected me, but I didn't realize down to the root how much it affected me. So whenever I was a kid, this is the first time I'm saying this on video, so it's really hard. When I was a kid, I was molested. I was molested, I think I was probably five, six years old. No, it was not a family member not a family member. Anyway, I didn't tell anybody. I felt like I was wrong. I couldn't tell my mom. I thought I'd be in trouble. And as I got older, I couldn't tell her because I didn't want to hurt her. And I finally told her when Kaylee was born, I was changing her diaper and we just got into it. And my mom still hurts from that. And I told her, you know, like I'm working on healing it. I mean, it wasn't her fault. It was nothing, nothing that my parents did. It's just I was in the wrong place and that happened. So I dealt with that my whole life, my, like my whole life. And um, so I had to learn, I had to go back and heal my inner child to be able to heal myself enough to learn why I processed things like I did and why I attracted the partners I did and why I ended up in the situations I did. Because I was attracting all the people that were broken like me and I was trying to fix them to help fix me and that did, that did not work out. <laughs> that did not work out well as we see. I'm here making a video. So... I started by doing that work and having to learn to forgive. I mean, God wants us to forgive, you know? So that's not my burden to carry anymore. So I had to learn how to heal that through the shadow work and how it affected my timeline going forward and why I went through the things I went through. And you know, I'll always be on a healing journey because things will always come up. Just because you're healed doesn't mean things don't come up and trigger you. Like, things will still trigger and I have to go back and like, oh, God, I'll do more shadow work. Okay, I didn't realize this was affecting this. And I didn't realize this was affecting that and making me act like this and want to vocalize too quick because it's me mirroring myself back, you know. So, I had to learn all these things. Shadow work isn't easy. It isn't easy. Some people don't like to look at the ugly parts of them. And so they carry that forward. So I've learned why I got into toxic and codependent relationships because I was trying to heal the broken, the broken one. And I needed to heal me. And two broken people, that 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 doesn't work. And a healed in a broken doesn't work because you're trying to fix they're trying to drain and not intentionally but it happens so it the the energies aren't balanced and that's where we left drained and it, it's just both partners have to be healed whole and come together as each a whole self. 
You know, we always say, oh, that's my better half or whatever, but, or that's my other half, however you want to say it, but really we're, we're whole in ourselves, And that's another huge lesson that he had to teach me was to heal me and to learn how to love myself, how to learn that I'm worthy. Like the things that happen to me aren't, aren't me. Like I don't have to carry all that. I can heal and I can go forward and now I can help, help other people heal. And I try to all the time. I have friends messaging me all the time and asking certain things. And because I've been through it, how we can spot the red flags. Okay. How is this making you feel? That way we don't get in another toxic codependent relationship so it's definitely it's definitely such an amazing journey like I thank God every day even for the hard ugly parts because it all made me who I am now and now I know moving forward that I'm healed and I can love again and I don't have to be scared and I don't have to always think somebody's going to hurt me or I have to fix somebody because I don't have to. It's not my burden to carry. And that is, that has been the most amazing, amazing experience because I've got tested a couple times and I've got tested, <laughs> but I learned, I know who I am and I'm not going to let anybody that's unhealed break me again. I, it's not, it's not, nope. So if you are going through something like this, then you need to figure out how to heal. And if you, another part of it is like us looking at somebody else, something that we don't like in somebody else is mirroring it back to us. It's something inside of us is the reason we're judging, is the reason we're picking it apart because it's something that we don't like about ourselves. And I know that's hard to deal with. That's very hard to deal with because, you know, we don't want to see all the hurtful things in us. But that's another trigger. That's another trigger of something that you need to heal. So, you know, if we all take responsibility of our own healing, you know, we see so much yuckiness in the world. It's, it's not pretty, but you know, it's a whole lot of broken people. And if we learn to heal ourselves, and then we can help heal others and just stuff like this. Like me being able to tell you all my story and hopefully even if it heals one person or helps heal one person or gets them started on their path to understand their journey, then it's worth it. It's worth everything I went through, even if it helps one more person, you know. We're meant to be here and we're meant to have fun and enjoy life. And if you're not enjoying life and feeling stuck, then figure it out. Figure it out. Figure out how to heal yourself. Figure out why you're putting up with the things you're putting up with and try and fix it. And that's it. We just have to try to be better, compassionate human beings and love each other and learn how to heal. So, I think that's, I think that's going to be the end of the video, but leave a comment or you can find me on my other social media if you want to send me a message. I do have a link tree that I'll post somewhere that will have a way to get in touch with me if you need tips on healing. 
because it's not easy, but it sure is worth it. And if nobody told you today, I love you. You are worthy. You are worth it. You are amazing.